Hey there, welcome to the special edition of International Flavor. We're here at Boca Vino. This place is just awesome. You can have a drink, have wings, watch the game, and at the same time, enjoy some Italian cuisine. In this special edition, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have a cook-off with the head chef of Boca Vino versus me, the international food man. So come check it out. All right, there's nothing like an old-fashioned cook-off. I'm here with head chef Sabrino of the Boca Vino restaurant. Chef, what are you making today? I'm making today uh, fresh mussels and uh, with linguine noodle. Okay, good, yeah. good. Well, on the competition side, I'm also going to be making, well, not mussels, just um, nice Canadian clams. And you got to have not, not other but uh, tasty shrimp. So, and of course, I'm going to mix it in in a nice uh, garlic onion sauce. But I don't, I don't want the chef to know my secrets. So, all right, so should we get cooking? Sure. Let's do this. Okay. All right, so uh, just to get started off here, uh, I'm going to be taking my uh, nice hot pan and we're going to be putting some olive oil in there. You want the pan to be hot and you can always tell uh, when it's hot when the oil just moves nice and smooth like that. So, um, okay, I'm going to get my uh, garlic in here. All right. All right, I'm going to All right, look at that baby burn. Okay, we're just going to let that cook right there. Oh, he's adding some chili flakes. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, well, oh, I see my. Uh, I, I won't do the chili flakes. I don't want mine. My spicy. I'm gonna throw mine in there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, you're gonna mix that all in there together. Man, doesn't that look delicious? You don't even know how good this smells. It smells fantastic. No. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. So mind if I steal that from you? All right, so look at this, big bottle of wine. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, yummy. Okay, good, good. So I got my clams there, and then we're just gonna cover it up here. Let's see here. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna just steam your clams there uh, as it cooks, and then with, with a little bit of time, these clams are just gonna open up, and then we're we'll continue our little cook off here, so. Okay, now for my secret ingredient, uh, I'm gonna throw in some big, nice, juicy shrimp. And look at that, how my, my dish is just cooking just deliciously here. Okay, yeah. so I just tossed my shrimp in there, and then we're gonna mix that shrimp in with the sauce. And right away, you see that gray shrimp, how it kind of cooks up, it's starting to get some color there. So look at that cooking. Excellent, so. So, Chef, how much longer on this right here? Oh, just one minute. Just, just one minute? As soon as the shrimp start cooking, then. Okay, and the good, open, good, good. You, and don't I... want, you don't want to overcook the clams. They come right. uh, chewy. And, uh, chewy, yeah, you don't want chewy. Yeah. Definitely. Nice All and right, well, well, my shrimp's definitely cooking nice and good there. Yeah. You can tell by the color that it's just getting right there, so. Yummy. So let, let the steam do its job. Just got to cook that shrimp. What I'm gonna do here is just add, uh, just for flavor, just some baby clams in there. I love seafood, I'm a huge seafood guy. So, more seafood, more the merrier, you know? So, that way it's gonna be nice and clammy. We got our shrimp, our shrimp baby clams, and our delicious, uh, I guess, medium-sized Canadian clams. So, uh, so that's just gonna take, uh, you know, take over the, the, the flavor of the, the white wine with the garlic and uh, the onions there, so. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, it looks it looks pretty much ready. Chef, how's yours, yours it's looking ready. ready there? It's ready to go, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, we're gonna put our sauce uh, over here. So basically, just drain it. Yeah. Yep. Don't want to lose all my shrimp there. Okay. So what I did here is I just uh, I I drained. Uh, um, I, I added a little bit of chicken stock here, or white wine. Um, so we're just this is gonna be our sauce right here. So we're just gonna let that cook for a little bit, kind of work in together there. And then we're just gonna put our seafood uh, just on the side there. So uh, what we're doing next, Chef, we're gonna, we're gonna heat up our pasta. Okay. And again, when you're cooking the pasta, up to you, you can do al dente if you like a little bit uh, softer than that. Just uh, try not to definitely overdo it there, so. Okay, so we're gonna put our pasta just in our sauce here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is just work in uh, the pasta with our sauce here. Uh, you just wanna coat coat it. We don't wanna miss any of the any of it there, so. Yummy, it smells divine. Ooh la la, ooh la la, see? 
All right. Chef's pretty fast. He's trying to gain one, gain one on me there. So, okay. So look at that. Delicious. I got to put my seafood on there. All right. So, I kind of like it a little bit everywhere. That way, you know, it's just a de de definitely a nice seafood platter. You got clams everywhere. Uh, let's see here. Man, this smells so good. I can't wait to try it. All right, let's see here. Then we're gonna toss our shrimp just in the middle there with some of our baby clams. And then we'll be laughing. Oh yeah, that shrimp, oh, it smells so good. All right, there, so let's let's load it all up here. Be generous with the clams, I love seafood. Can't go wrong with seafood. All right, and then all this tasty sauce right here, it's gonna go just on top there, look at that the clams. Oh man, delicious. And look at that, there you have it. So nice. chef, you look, are, are, are oh, we, we're going to try great. each other's? Sure. Okay, great. Well, let's let's get a let's go outside and maybe have a oh, little okay. taster. Sure. I'm here with the manager of Boca Vino to be our deciding judge on which dish is going to be the best dish. So chef, may the best <laughs> chef win. <laughs> All right, so dig in and All right. Let's, let's hear that verdict, so. So first off, you know, here in, in my dish I have, uh, you know, your medium-sized uh, clams here. Uh, and then of course I, I put a, a shrimp, uh, shrimp, onions, garlic. So I, I hope I swayed you to- uh, Looks very nice. To, to go for mine here. No, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> All right, look at that. Dive into that, man. Try shrimp if you like, you know, I, I swear by them, so. Mm -hmm. uh, first one, first off, is pretty good. All right, all right, so a couple goes. points for uh, Chef Chris here. Definitely all right. not without his term. Okay, <laughs> all right. So Chef, you want to maybe to tell him what he's, the man's eating there? Just basically it's uh, mussels with garlic, onion, white wine, touch and, of chili, you know, so simple. And the chef's yeah. touch, is that right? That's, yes, that's, of course. That's the <laughs> secret, secret part of the dish. Of course. <laughs> Oh man. Mm -hmm. All right, Chris, so come on, give us the news. Give us the news. What, what is it? What is it? Well, it's certainly hard to say. Um, they're both very, very good. What, what so works for you? I have to say I'm a preference to the muscles myself. Okay. Oh, um, but again, they're both fantastic. So Seafood, you can't go wrong. All right, so the winning dish is? I'll have to go with the muscle. Oh, <laughs> he's got to okay. work with me tomorrow. Okay, oh, chef, chef. We got along. Next year, I'm going to work on it. You have to work, work with on me it. tomorrow. All right, then, then I'll, get, I'll get up to it. So, wow, this has just been fantastic. Thank you so much for being our judge. No Thanks, problem. chef. Thank you. Next year. Back here in the kitchen, I'm still stinging over the loss. Uh, so what I've decided to do is uh, let's get a little bit of happy. And what makes me happier than some hot wings? Canadians, Calgarians, we love hot wings. So if you've never made hot wings before, I'm gonna teach you. All you need to do is buy, go to the store, wherever, buy some chicken wings, toss them in the deep fryer for about 15 to 20 minutes, no more. You know, when you push it to 20, it gets a little bit crispy. Then all you gotta do is take them out like we're gonna do right here. Yeah. All right, chef. Okay, just kind of let, let the oil uh, kind of just drizzle, drizzle it off there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our wings and then we're going to mix them in the sauce. The nice thing about wings, as you all probably know, you can use any sauce you want. Whatever your flavor is, that's what you're going to make it. So, so are these good yeah. to go here, Chef? Oh, yeah. All right, okay. So Chef, you take your wings out there. Okay, so, so now that we got them in here, smart man, this guy. Okay, so we're gonna use your, your basic hot sauce right here. Um, and what you're gonna do is just toss it in and just be generous. Um, again, that's depending on, on what your flavor is, okay? I love a wing that's just full of sauce. So just kind of mix it in there. Try and get each, each, uh, each part of the wing coated, okay? Oh man, that smells good, man. I'm, I'm ready to go watch the game right now, okay. So how are yours looking over there, Chef? Very good. What sauce did you use? Uh, honey garlic. Honey garlic. All right, okay. So let's do that. Let's put our wings there. Look, they look and smell phenomenal. So you can kind of put them all however you'd like, a little fancy schmancy. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of parsley on here, make them look a little bit nice. Oh yeah, look at that. And of course, nothing goes better 
with wings, you know, put a little bit of ranch, blue cheese. Exquisite. There you go. Okay, let's move on and let's make our next dish here. Sure. Good. Okay, so we've made our way over here. And uh, Chef, what are we making today? Make a nacho. Yeah. Party nachos? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Super Bowl nachos? Yeah. <laughs> Always got to get the right ingredients. You know, when you're making food, you, everything all has to work together. So, so let's just get this uh, going here. So, chef, one layer of the corn tortilla chips. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you can get corn tortilla anywhere and everywhere. Okay. So we have our first layer of that. Cheese. Then we're gonna put cheese. cheese. Okay. Great. Cheddar and. Uh, yeah. Cheddar and mozzarella. Yeah. Okay, chef. So we're gonna put a little bit of this on here. Yes. Okay. So ground beef. Spice it up that's how good. you like. Yeah. We love it spicy here, so that's what we do. Yeah. Okay, so pretty simple so far. Should we put the jalapenos okay, here? Sure, yeah. Okay, for those that love the hot. Oh, I love the spicy. <laughs> that one's really hot. Put some jalapenos in there. Yeah. Have a little fiesta. All right. Okay, and then what, what do we got next here, olives. Chef? Oh, olives. Yeah. All right, black olives. Yeah. Pretty simple, pretty... Pretty easy ingredients. Fill yeah. you up with more cheese. More cheese? Yeah. You want a cheesy cheese? Yeah. What, what, what kind of cheese we got here? This is basically mozzarella and cheddar. Mozzarella yeah. and cheddar. 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 Yeah. Thanks. All right. And then now we're going to do another layer? Yeah. Okay. So we got our other layer there. Yeah. Now we're going to do the same thing. Thanks. No. Cheese oh, first. Cheese first. Yeah. Cheese first. So what, what do we call this plate? The nacho eruption? Or? <laughs> nacho. Just nachos? Yeah, nachos nacho. and cheese? All right, well, you should name it. Okay. You can name it after me, the... the... Okay. Okay. Yeah. All, All right, we're going to put some olives. Yeah. So it's pretty pretty simple, consistent. It's kind of like a lasagna. You just got all these layers of cheese, okay. meat, and all the good stuff, you know? Yeah. This is what makes... I love nachos, by the way, so... All right, good, good, good. Okay. Now, go we'll take it to put in the oven. Okay, so now we're going to toss this bad boy in the oven. Yeah. All right, follow me. Ooh la la. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, Chef. There we go. Just right here? Yeah. Okay. Just toss that bad boy in the oven. How long are we going to put it in the oven That's for, it. Chef? About 12 to 15 minutes. 12 to 15 Depends minutes in the oven? Yeah. Okay. 